Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer practice lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this. This lab is really a review of material we have practiced in the ICND1 labs, VLANs, trunks, and DTP. However, these topics are in the ICND2 exam topics as well, so let's review them one more time. The first step is to disable negotiation of trunk ports and manually configure the mode of each switch port in use. DTP can dynamically determine whether a switch port should be a trunk or an access port. For example, if you connect a switch port to a port on another switch that is a trunk, the switch port will become a trunk as well. Let's check on switch 1 and switch 2. I haven't done any configuration yet, so DTP is enabled on both, and they should be in access mode at the moment. I'll go on switch 1. Enable. Show interface G02 switch port. See, it's in dynamic auto mode by default, meaning if it's connected to a trunk or a port in dynamic desirable mode, it will become a trunk port as well. However, really, these configurations should all be done manually for security reasons also, so DTP is something you should always disable. Just to show you the commands, however, conf t interface G02, switch port mode dynamic, and let's check the options. Auto is, as I said before, it will become a trunk port if connected to a dynamic desirable port, and desirable mode actively tries to form trunk ports with both auto and other desirable mode ports. Let's do the smart thing and disable DTP, then manually set the mode of each switch port. So, switch port no negotiate. That disables DTP. Switch port mode trunk. Okay, now let's configure switch 1's other ports. G1 should be a trunk, as it leads to R1 for inter-VLAN routing, and F01 and F02 should be access ports. Interface G01. Switch port mode trunk. Switch port no negotiate. Interface range F01 to 2. Switch port mode access. Switch port no negotiate. Okay, let's go to switch 2 now. Enable. Look at this message we got on switch 2. Blocking gigabit ethernet 01. Inconsistent port type. Switch 1's G02 interface is a trunk. However, because DTP is disabled, it's not setting packets to switch 2 so that switch 2's dynamic G01 interface can become a trunk as well. Therefore, while switch 1's G02 interface is a trunk, switch 2's G01 interface remains an access port, so there is an inconsistent port type. Let's make this a trunk too. Conf T, interface G01, switch port mode trunk, switch port no negotiate. Okay, next, interface range, F01 to 2, switch port mode access, switch port no negotiate. Okay, that's all for step 1. Step 2 is to assign the PCs to the correct VLANs. PC1 and PC3 should be in VLAN 13, and PC2 and PC4 should be in VLAN 24. I'm on switch 2 now, so let's assign PC3 and PC4 to the correct VLANs. Interface F01, switch port access VLAN 13. Interface F02, switch port access VLAN 24. Now let's go back to switch 1. Interface F01, switch port access VLAN 13. Interface F02, switch port access VLAN 24. Okay. We have assigned the PCs to the correct VLANs. R1 has already been configured for inter-VLAN routing. Let's just check the configuration. Enable, show run. The GIG00 interface itself 
has no IP address, but I've configured two sub-interfaces, one for each VLAN. The encapsulation.1q command sets the VLAN of the sub-interface, 13 and 14, and then we set the IP address for the sub-interface. Make sure these addresses are set as the default gateways for the PCs. I already configured the PCs, so everything should work fine now. Let's try some pings from PC1 to make sure we have connectivity. Let's ping PC3 first, which is in the same VLAN, but connected to a different switch. Ping 13.0.0.13. It works. Okay, and now let's ping PC2, which is in a different VLAN, but connected to the same switch. Ping 24.0.0.12. It works. So our inter-VLAN routing is working. Let's try to ping PC4 as well, in a different VLAN and connected to a different switch. Ping 24.0.0.14. It works too. In this lab, we took a brief look at DTP, disabled it, and configured VLANs and switch port mode. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.